So Martin is here to help us with that. Martin, talk to us. What's happening? Well, looks like global analytics um, in the last poll surveyed about 2,000, between 2,000 and 3,000 people. So it's a, it's a safe sample size. And they are saying, for instance, that per the regional breakdown, the NDC seems to be doing very well. In fact, earlier polls, according to Global Info Analytics, pitches the NDC winning one-touch victory. They've pitched them above 53%. So let's look at the specific regions and how many votes or percentage-wise that Global Info Analytics is getting. They say, for instance, in the Ahafu region, the NDC is getting 55% out, and the MPP is left with 37%. Ashanti region, which is the stronghold of the NPP, mm -hmm. they are getting 63% as against the NDC's 30%. Mind you, the Ashanti region comes up for specific mention because when they announced Dr. Matthew Pokumbrepe as their running mate, he promised and urged the, the voters there that we need to make 85% minimum. And so if as of October, they are still hovering around 60 it means a lot more work needs to be done. The NDC has also promised that we know it is the main opposition, our main opponent's stronghold. However, we want to clinch 30%. Mm -hmm. They still have some 3% extra work to do if they, that is anything to go by. Central region, a few minutes ago when we were on election 360, we all agreed that central region has always, whoever wins central region mm -hmm. has formed the party of the day. And it is the most swing region of all the key swing regions we have as a country. As it stands, the NDC is winning central region by 53% per the polls of global info analytics, leaving 40% for the NPP. This is also significant because the vice presidential candidate of the NDC is from the central region. So probably that is what is doing the magic for them. Also in the central region, MPP had over the years promised them, they went, promised an airport that mm -hmm. they said, well, it wasn't really the, the promise they wanted to give them, promised a harbor, which was also scrapped. So I'm sure they are thinking really deeply about that as a region. Yeah, Eastern tough region, crowd, tough yes. crowd there. Very, very tough people to convince. I mean, the central region has actually done bad by the NDC for several years. The NDC chose almost all its vice presidents from the central region, but they've dilly dallied in terms of voting for them. The eastern region predominantly has been saved for the NPP. This time around, they've just inched about 50%. If the NDC is making over 40% in the eastern region, mm. it tells you that they are likely making some inroads into the numbers of the MPP. So if anything, if MPP needs to, wants to hold back the eastern region as it's one of its strongholds, then they need to make sure that the green part of this data shifts upward so they can get up further votes. The greater Accra region, look at this. This is actually one of the biggest. The Greater Accra region is giving 65% of its votes to the NDC and just 25 to the NPP. Mind you, Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya, a few uh, weeks ago, was in the Greater Accra region when mm -hmm. he truncated his tour of the OT region, came to Greater Accra. But as of October, or at the end of October, when Global Info Analytics surveyed, they say just 25% of the voter population in Greater Accra say they'll vote for the NPP. We'll leave it as it is. The Northeast region, 68% are voting for the NPP. And that's quite significant. Only 30% say they'll vote for the NDC. Indeed. Savannah region, Savannah region, 27% are saying they'll vote for the NPP. 69%, almost 70% of the Savannah region say they are voting for the NDC. And Savannah region and the Northeast regions are part of the two new, of the six newly created regions. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting to note that this is the first time they are going to be voting after the redemarcation. Right. So it's interesting why the decision behind these voter numbers. We'll probably in subsequent shows here at your election command center try mm. to distill to get Absolutely. to the bottom of what's informing Indeed. this uh, voter uh, you, you know, the, patterns. It, as we have always said, that it's going to be a battle for the north as well, uh, as much as it would be for places like the Ashanti region and Vota yeah. region or the swing regions that we know. Mm. Uh, because then, as you said, when it was just one northern region, we knew that the, uh, the NDC, NDC always came up tops. Yeah. Uh, this year, they're looking to 
claw back some of their losses in those regions. Mm. Tamale South MP Harun Idrisu had told me once that indeed, listen, mm. we are looking at ensuring that we reduce the N N MPP's gain in the northeast region in particular, yeah, yeah. or perhaps even ensure that they are completely out of that region. But it's not going to be an easy one it won't be easy because their candidate himself also is uh, from that part of the country. Absolutely. So it, again, comes back to the point, it's a battle for the north. For a battle for the north, because both candidates are, are, are from are extracts from those uh, that part of the country. The Volta region comes up for mention. That I'm sure I've done the Upper East region, where MPP has 32. NDC is uh, above 60%. They are 64% in the Upper East region. And again, mind you, these are per the polls done in October by Global Info Analytics. In the Volta region, recent conversations with John Dramani Mahama with our correspondent, Komla Kluche, John Dramani Mahama says that it is not possible, it will not happen, that the NPP can get 300,000 votes from the Volta region. The NPP has visited that region a few times. For the first time in the political history, NPP has a seat in the Volta region. They intend to in increase the mm -hmm. voter percentage in the Volta region. But the NDC, according to John Mahama, will not allow that to happen. They want to get at least 85%. Is it, if I, he said 90%, whilst the ND, NPP in their stronghold of the Ashanti region are looking at getting 85%, they say they want 90% in the Volta region. We'll see how that plays out. Western region, one mm -hmm. of the, the then swing regions, uh, because of the re-demarcation, is now a three different regions. They, specifically in the Western region, 36% of the um, people surveyed say they'll vote for the MPP, 53% say they'll vote for the NDC. So across board, you can tell that out of these, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, mm -hmm. eight, nine, ten of these regions, the N, apart from the Ashanti region, Northeast region, the NDC seem to have made some significant gains in there. Also, the last regions that we are looking at for you, Bono Half region, 51% for the NDC, 42% for the NPP. The Bono East region, 31% for the NPP, 59% uh, for the NDC. Northern region, specifically the Northern region, 58%. And John Dramani Mahama was there a few days ago, had to come back down for the National Peace uh, Council service and has gone to the, um, is currently in the OT region. Mm -hmm. So John Mahama uh, is leading per the polls by 58% in the northern region, NPP 40%, 35% in the OT region for the NPP, 62% for the NDC. It was interesting, we are still yet to understand why um, Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya cut short his campaign tour of the OT region, mm -hmm. but at least he stopped, probably might go back. We know that currently it is the vice presidential candidate of the NDC that is there. So the OT region as it stands, 62% for the NDC, 35% for the NPP, Upper West region, 68 for the NDC, 29 for the NPP, and the um, Western North, Western North region, NDC is winning. So mm. all the polls show that NDC seem to be in quite looking good, uh, very looking very good for the NDC. They seem to are, to are inching closer to the 270 mark. We are not doing Indeed. 270. And, and yeah, they are right. going to have to hold on to that if they plan to win the election because obviously it's not going to be a very easy ride for At them all. as well. The NPP is doing it, its best to ensure that it increases numbers in the Ashanti region mm. and in the Akan-speaking regions as well. Mm. And they will not hold on to central region. Like and We only said. have, uh, what, 30 Otherwise we are having right? a repeat of 2020. Uh, you know what <laughs> happened in 2020. <laughs>